Hello everyone, welcome back to the Learn Daily Physics. And so we discussed with statistical mechanics is previously, and now we are going to wear this classical statistical mechanics. So in classical statistical mechanics, particles are identical and distinguishable. Particles are identical and distinguishable that they are similar but we can distinguish them then like this is a and this is b whereas in the quantum statistical mechanics we cannot distinguish them they are indistinguishable so the volume of the unit can be made as small as possible the volume of the unit cell can be made as small as possible it means that you can fit everything in a certain volume that you have a container of uh, volume v you say that i have this container then i can s small any unit cell as much as i can i don't have any kind of limit so i can fit infinite numbers of particles or a unit cell in a in a certain volume in a small volume because I can make them small when they are not fitting in I will make them small I will fit more unit cells so it can fit infinite numbers of unit cell in a volume in a certain volume when there is no limit for the volume we can make them small as much we can so we can fit them anywhere we want okay any number of particles any way we want we can fit them in certain volume so any number of particles can occupy a unit cell this is the term um, we will talk about later I will discuss I will elaborate you from an example of two states states one and state two single state particles so let's move on toward this term so the number of unit cells are very small as compared to the number of particles let's say that we have a particle a unit cell consi consisting of 100 particles for example we have this unit cell and it is consisting of 100 particles okay 100 particles when we have 10 number of unit cells how many particles we have when we have 10 unit cells how many particles we have 10 particles we, 10 unit cell will be equal to 1 2 and 3 particles so the number of unit cell n i this is the number of unit cell n i and this is the number of particles g i so the number of unit cell and the number of particles are very this one this term is so small as compared to this term so we can say that the number of unit cell is much much smaller than the number of particles which will equal to ni divided by gi will be less than 1 okay so i hope you understand that this is the number of particles are so much okay i think you understand so moving on to the maxwell boltzmann statistics what is maxwell boltzmann statistics uh, i've already discussed a lot of this about a lot of about this topic and when we calculated in the plasma half kinetic average kinetic energy for the plasma i think it was my second lecture i will put description of it so this is pi let's say this is a function and this function could be the function of velocity or the function of energy you know that this p i is equals to when i'm writing this p i 
this is a function of energy let's say and this is equal to c and e power minus half m v square this e is the kinetic energy half m v square over k b t this k b is the boltzmann factor and the t is the temperature so what is the necessary necessity for this why we use maxwell boltzmann statistics here for example we have this unit cell or we have a system at certain temperature t your heating the system does your energy is moving or going into the system equally does the particles are getting equal energy no this maxwell boltzmann statistics or this maxwell boltzmann distribution tells us that how many number of particle this is the probability density probability function this is the probability function for the particles to have this energy at this temperature so this is the relation between the temp energy or this is the relation between the velocity because kinetic energy is equal to half mv square half of the m is a constant and the v will be the variable here so we can say that this is the function of energy or the velocity and it describes the relation between the kinetic energy and the temperature for a certain temperature what will be the velocity or what will be the kinetic energy for that particle this is the function which describes that what will be the energy of that particle so we use maxwell boltzmann statistics in this when the particles are distinguishable and identical so let's see what a distinguishable term means and what this term means here so let's see we have here let's say we have two states single particle state we are considering a single particle state we are considering a single particle state and we have state 1 and state 2 in which we will have two particles as the particles are identical and distinguishable so we will say that one is one particle is a and the other particle is or oh, one particle is a and the other particle is b because a and b are identical and distinguishable i can tell that this one is b and this one is a so first state we will have that we will any number of particles can occupy a unit cell a unit cell is described by a state here so any number of particles that this a and b can be here the any number of particles it is irrespective of number of particles so these particles a and b can be here we have no problem in the next state this a and b could be here then another case we can have a could be here and b could be here b could be here and a could be here so i've missed something here was number of unit cells are very small this one any number of particles can occupy a unit cell that a b could be here a b could be in this unit cell or this state a b could be here a could be here and b could be here so this is any number of particles this was the state this postulate is given by this description that any number of particles can occupy any state or any 
particle a could a b could be here a b could be here a could be here b could be here b and a could be here so i think you've discussed you know you've understand the statistical mechan classical statistical mechanics so in next lecture we will talk about the quantum statistical mechanics in which we will discuss what is bose einstein statistics what are the bosons and what is fermi dirac statistics and what are the fermions so till our next lecture thank you very much for your time and assalamu alaikum